What more could the Chancellor well, have done? Uh, well, he spent an awful well, lot of money servicing debt, and taxes are already pretty high. Yes, exactly. So he could have delayed <coughs> the increase in national insurance contributions, because on the one hand, he's uh, asking us all to pay a, a lot more on national insurance, and on the other hand, he's giving a tiny little bit back. But actually, look, let's look, for example, at the massive profits that Shell uh, made in the last uh, 12 months, nearly $20 billion. Now, that tells me that the prices they're charging for energy are far too high. Um, let's look at the so-called energy market. Now, there's a lot of factors that the government obviously can't control, but prices have gone up considerably more in the UK before the Ukraine war started in terms of gas and energy prices than they have in the rest of, the Euro in the rest of Europe, the other European countries. We have to ask ourselves why that is. Um, why are things so much worse here in the UK than they are in other countries? And, of course, the other thing is that we don't have a progressive and fair tax system. The very wealthiest in our society pay considerably less as a proportion of their income than the very lowest paid, and that's wrong. Well, I'm not entirely sure it's fair to say that things are much worse in the UK than they are elsewhere. Most Western European countries are seeing inflation that's pretty high. In fact, it's higher than in the United States, and countries are having to deal with, obviously, public finances following uh, the pandemic. But let's be clear. I mean, you know, the opposition have to set up what they would do. We know about the windfall tax, but, yep. but that simply wouldn't be enough. So what would Labour cut spending on public services? Would it increase taxes even more? No, we would have a much more progressive tax system. Uh, for example, I seem to recall in the 2012 budget, uh, the then Conservative Lib Dem coalition government cut tax for the highest paid. Now, it could be argued, and it was argued at the time, uh, that that meant more actual tax uh, take was coming, but I, I think that's been disproven since. The fact is that we have one of the lowest tax rates for the, for the richest and wealthiest in our country uh, compared with other countries in the G7 and indeed in the G20. So it seems to me much more progressive taxation and a stimulus to our economy, investment in infrastructure, which in itself creates jobs. We've seen how brilliant uh, Crossrail is in, in London. But if you live in Leeds, the city I represent, uh, public transport's appalling. If we had the kind of infrastructure investment that we really need in our major population centres, that would create jobs, and creating jobs would begin to regenerate the economy. If we have economic growth, the tax take increases. That's how we would do it, investing in our people through education, through job creation, through infrastructure projects that are so badly needed. We don't have them. We really need them. The government has done nothing apart from Crossrail.